Hello, my name is Sasa. In this video, I will show you how to connect your model or how to rig it. Okay, that is basically to add a skeleton to your models or custom characters in Roblox Studio. Okay, so this is a tutorial for Roblox Studio and it's going to be long, so be prepared. My name is Sasa. Start with the tutorial. Okay, well guys, uh, also I recommend that you check my previous video that it's about how to import a model from Blender to Roblox Studio. Well, uh, let's start with this. Basically the idea of the concept of rigging is like adding a skeleton to your model, okay? With this skeleton you will be able to animate your model, okay? So check the video, the previous video, because I show you how to uh, connect all your model and all the necessary parts that you need in, the, in order to uh, rig it, okay? So well, for this video we will be using Rigedit. <clears throat> there are two versions of Rigedit. We have the plus version that it's complete and it costs 100 Robux, okay? I recommend this version, but if you don't have the Robux, you can go and get the free version, okay? The free version, it is also possible to read your characters, okay? With a lot of options, okay? So, well, any of these ones you can use. I will be using for this video Rigadic, the full version. Let's start, okay? The first thing that we need to do is to have our model. Okay, you can check my previous video, but um, just to remind you, you need a humanoid root, uh, humanoid part here inside your model. You add it here, and also you need a part that it's called the humanoid root part. It has to be invisible and covering the torso and almost the upper part of the legs. Well, anyway, we have this and we are ready to rig. We select first. Okay, so first, for example, let's disable here the rig edit. I select my model and then I'm going to select rig edit. Now I am able to connect here. We are going to create joints or welds. A joint, it's like an elbow or like a knee. Okay. And it's a part where you are going to put this kind of circle and it's going to rotate your part from here. Okay. So a weld, it is just like pasting the thing. Okay. Connecting it with no joints. So it's going to be here. For example, if I join this horn to this head, it's not going to move, just going to be like pasted, okay? But if I add a join here, I can rotate the horn, okay? So depends on th the thing that you are uh, rigging, you will be using welds or joints, okay? Well, now let's start. I'm going to start here. I have some names here. So you can rename everything or you can use here this as guide for you. Well, I'm going to start with the first part. The first part that you need to join is the humanoid root part. You select the humanoid root part and it says part C. Uh, here in the options, we are going to modify this to 0.01 to put uh, to, mo to move the joints. And well, the first part is uh, in this case, my humanoid root part, I'm going to connect it with the lower torso. So if I have a lower torso, yes, I have lower torso and then I create a joint. Now, you see a point over there. This is where the thing is going to rotate. In this case, with the human root part and the lower torso, you don't need to adjust anything. Just leave it like that. And then I go with my lower torso. My lower torso, that is like my waist, it's going to be connected with the upper torso and with the legs. First, I'm going to connect the lower torso. I select first part zero, that is lower torso. And then the part that is going to be dependent on this, that is the upper torso. I select here and then I create a joint. Now, it is important now to move here, this part, uh, to this part here, to, to move it here to uh, have a nice rotation. Why? I'm going to show you why. If I leave it like that in the middle, check, when I go to animation and I select my model, let me check if I can animate it or not. Yes. Uh, you have here the part that we added, the joint. If I rotate, check, it's rotating from the middle. I want to rotate from here, not from the middle. Okay, so well, I hope that you understood this, but well. 
anyway i select here reg edit and then i select this part and then i move it down let move it to the center more or less to the center i want it to rotate from here i guess that's okay so it's going to rotate over there and that's it so that's why i am adjusting where it's going to rotate okay remember it's like a knee or like an elbow like an like the neck okay now the lower torso is going to be connected with the upper legs so i go for right upper leg i create a joint and then i just move the joint where i wanted to have it the rotation so in this case i can i move it a little bit upwards um here i guess that's okay sorry and then the lower torso again select lower torso it's going to be connected with the left upper leg left upper leg with control i use control here eh, to have it part zero part one create joint i adjust where i want to this thing to rotate and i guess that's okay now uh, the lower torso i guess it's going to be connected probably with the tail no i guess i'm going to connect the tail with the upper torso so i go for the upper torso and i look for tail i can move this thing i look for the tail i don't know if i learn ah yes back because sometimes roblox when it reads tail it blocks the things okay or moderates the content well anyway now the tail i'm going to move it here near to the body to rotate it here get it down to the center probably there to have a good rotation over there i guess that's okay now upper torso is going to be connected with the jaw with the head it depends on what uh, you prefer i'm going to use now the jaw as as the main part okay it's like the neck so upper torso with jaw i look for jaw clear joint and then i move it over here it's going to rotate from here and that's okay now the jaw so it's going to be the main part of the head so when i rotate the jaw the head is going to rotate also the jaw the head is going to rotate from here to open the mouth okay and that's it now uh, the head it will be like using the horns okay so i'm going to make the first i select the head head and then i select one of the horns check the horn the right horn i create joint if i create a joint i can rotate the horn if i just select weld i i won't be able to rotate the weld because it's going to be like welded to the head okay well now we do the same select head and then the left horn left 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 horn i don't know what is the left horn yes it's here and create a joint and then i adjust where i want to this thing to rotate okay now we go with the upper torso it's going to be connected with the arms upper torso with right lower leg no with right arm create adjust the rotation upper torso with left 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 arm create joint and we move it where we want to rotate i have another part of the arm because i have two arm uh, two uh, two parts arm okay so well i select the arm one of the arms right arm with right uh, let me check what is the other part i guess hand or uh, what is the name of this right foot right horn right lower leg right upper leg right left arm no right oh come on you can try to select here also ah oh, no i didn't i just make it one part so it's not necessary to add i i thought that it were two parts but no 
example now let's go with the legs so i select this leg the left upper leg i can do it select here not in the name i press control so control i know it's control shift control shift and i select part zero is this one this is the main part and this is the part that is going to be connected now i create the joint I move it over here a little bit. Okay. Then I select here and then with shift zero one and then I create joint and then I just drag it a little bit upwards and that's it. Now I'm going to connect the lower parts with the foot. So press shift, control shift and then I create the joint. I adjust the position backwards and I guess that's okay a little bit up i do the same with the other side first the knee or the lower leg and then this one and then create joint then i move and i guess that's pretty much the same uh, the thing with this thing okay because it's a pretty simple model remember well if you finish you just uh, click again and rig edit and you have your rig done you are ready to go to animation so you select your model animation click on your model if you have an animation over there this and then you just check the parts now go to model rotate you can disable the rotation the fixed rotation and you can check your character remember the jaw that is going to connect with the head and this is for the uh, the horns we check the horns well, maybe I'm going, we're going to remove the horns sometime, but I like them. Now we check the tail. And that's it. Okay, then you check the legs. But the legs are going to be like quite funny for this model, but well. That's it. And we have a fully animated character in roblox studio okay we can move the head ta, 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 ta. and then we are going to start like having the animation but that will be for another video guys if you want to see the next part part three that we're going to be animating this creating a walking cycle and a idle uh, also a jumping animation very simple jumping animation please don't forget to leave a like in this video okay and this is all for this video on how to rig a character in Roblox Studio. My name is Asa. Thank you for being here, guys. Uh, I appreciate everything, okay? But don't forget to like the video, okay? I will see you next time, okay? Bye-bye.